Hello everyone, Silver Contrails here. Today, I'm not playing Adventure Timecraft, I'm not playing Inferno Mines, I'm actually on a Feed the Beast server. One that I happen to actually be the owner of. I'm not on a public server, I'm not on a private server, I'm on my own server. Which I'm paying for with the help of a couple friends, it's a remote hosted server. I'm not currently letting other people on except for those people who are helping me pay for it. And we're trying to keep it as a close-knit group. So there's that. This server's been a lot of fun. I've been playing it for the last couple of weeks. And we've advanced pretty far in a very short amount of time. So I'll have to show you guys around a little bit. Um, but the main thing I want to talk about today... This will be a little bit of a rant video. Which is maybe a little bit... Oop, maybe a little misleading. Because my rants usually don't include me getting angry. They're just, I want to talk about some things, and it's a good way to title my video. And what I'll probably title this is something about uh, Feed the Beast. Is it the sequel to Minecraft? Is it the next step for Minecraft players? And I think the answer to that is yes. So let me kind of justify this a bit. First of all, I want to show this tweet. I want to talk about this tweet that happened a while back on Twitter. Dinnerbone tweeted about different colored wood, so different colored logs. Uh, so you have, you know, your basic oak log. You've got your logs through different tree colors in here. Like if you get the birch log, which is again a different color. And he said, "Well, it'd be cool if we had logs that were all sorts of different colors, kind of all the different colors of wool." And he put that on his Twitter, and he was like, hey, would you guys be interested in colored wood? And he got a bunch of replies back on his Twitter saying, no, we don't want colored wood. From Minecraft players. And they were saying, we do not want this feature. We don't want colored wood. And Seth Bling even replied to it, and he was like, wait, people don't want colored wood? What's going on here? And then he kind of, Dinnerbone kind of said, okay, I give up. You know, we're not going to do that, because clearly people don't want it. And this was something of a turning point for me particularly when direwolf20 tweeted back and this is the guy who is the name for the direwolf20 f feed the beast pack he said hey if you guys want colored wood why don't you check out forestry and actually if we go in here and we look through any eye for the forestry blocks uh, do, 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 i should have picked them out earlier they are I believe it's... I'm trying to find... I didn't bring them up beforehand that I should have. I believe it's in here. These different planks. Yeah, so you can see these different planks are all different colors. And so Forestry... There with 20... Basically tweeted at Dinnerbone. He's like, hey guys, if you want this, download Forestry and you can get all these colors of, wo of wood. And Forestry is a big part of the Feed the Beast mod pack. And it's kind of a question of... Hey, you can either continue to play vanilla Minecraft and not have this cool feature, or you can try out Forestry and have these cool features. And to me, modded Minecraft is kind of hit or miss with people. people. Some people like the vanilla experience, some people don't. But if you've been playing vanilla Minecraft for going on three years this October for me, playing modded Minecraft is amazing. It's incredible. It's so much different and it's it's like replaying that game that you love and you've stuck with for so long but with so many new features feed the beast of course has way more than just forestry and it has industrial craft it's got thermal expansion it's got applied energistics it has <laughs> i mean i could go on and on and on stuff like farm craft and and these hugely popular mods that have been put into this mod pack so when they're all in, in one mod pack, they're all easily accessible. They're all something that you can go to, get all these extra features. The question is kind of why not? Feed the Beast, you know, its drawbacks are that it's a little bit harder to run. It will sap your frame rate. It, I mean, I can record, usually Adventure Timecraft, I'm recording at 30 to 40 frames. I record this at about 20 to 30, so I lose about 10 frames, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, it tends to be a little bit more unstable because there's more mods. This morning we had a server crash 
uh, dealing with some of the B stuff over here and some red power uh, configurations, basically some piping. Because if you have all these mods interacting, oop, there we go. Uh, if you have all these mods interacting, you're going to have some problems. Uh, we had a crash over here. These pipes were not set up correctly. There was a, I think there was a relay that was screwed up. But I mean, look at all this stuff. This is really cool. You know, if you haven't played Feed the Beast, it's alien looking. And I know it wasn't too long ago that I knew what. In fact, honestly, I have no idea what these machines do. <laughs> all of these machines here, because I don't do the extra bees mod or the bees. I don't even know what's called. <laughs> I I really don't do that mod at all or mess with it too much. I will at some point, I'm sure. But for right now, it's not something that I'm really messing with too much. So, getting features, waiting for features, 1.6 is coming out, we've got horses. Hooray, right? I mean, we can get horses in any number of mods that include them. We just recently got nether quartz, we recently got all these features in vanilla Minecraft, and I've kind of gotten to the point where I just don't care anymore. Uh, like, new updates are cool. They really are. Like, new updates, okay, that's fine. But ultimately, the question is... Am I going to sit around and wait for a feature to be added that I really want added? Or am I just going to download a mod that gives me that feature? And 90% of the time, I'm going to download a mod that gives me that feature. The problem a lot of times is you want one mod for one feature, you want another mod for one feature, and they don't mix. That's where Feed the Beast and mod packs like it come along and they say, okay, you want a bunch of different features that all work together, we're going to give you that. So, you know, the, the basic kind of concept of Minecraft, which is exploration, combat, construction, and resource gathering, those are all present in Feed the Beast, but I feel that they're more streamlined, they're more straightforward, they're more expansive, and just overall uh, more fun to play with. So, for instance, this is our new base. And there's a ton of stuff in here. Ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. And it's all automated. You know, everything is working really well. There's so many, so many features in here that we can play with. I can spend hours and hours and hours just messing with the new features. And it doesn't negatively impact vanilla Minecraft because I can still go and I can mine. I can still play, you know, build squares, square buildings, and you know, do some stuff with spawners. Like... In my Let's Play world, the next thing I'm going to be doing is building an Enderman spawner, which, or an Enderman grinder, which is probably one of the more complex things you can do in Minecraft. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the more complex things you can do in Minecraft without getting into redstone logic and creating computers and that sort of thing. It's one of the more functional, uh, probably, if not maybe, in my opinion at least, the most functional structure you can make and that was always a big thing for me personally when I play mine when I played Minecraft and when I play other games even when I'm building with Legos I've always preferred functionality over just about anything else if it does something cool I want it or I want to make it and the problem with Minecraft is there's so many things that look cool but they don't really do anything you know we spent a lot of time on the village in my Adventure Timecraft world it doesn't really do anything, though, besides get me extra villagers. It's cool, but it's not functional in any way. The mob grinder that I'm building is extremely functional. It, like I said, probably one of the most functional things you can make. It's another reason why I like mob grinders. I, I like minecart systems. I like the redstone logic and that sort of thing because they're functional. They do things. And that's really what Feed the Beast is about. It's including so many functional mods that have all these cool applications that do stuff. They don't just look cool. They do things. Like the quarries that we were looking at. Or, uh, no, we didn't go see the quarries yet. So let's go do that. The Buildcraft mod includes quarries, which, if we wait for them to load in, uh, quarry out huge tracts of land. They do basically two things. First of all, they make the resource grind less of a problem. They're di very difficult to build in this version. I'm playing the ultimate pack. Uh, they require a lot of inputs. You can't just you know, make them 
on day one and then run around with your amazing quarry and then quarry out the world and get all your resources cheap uh, at no cost. But at the same time, they're giving you a way so that you don't have to spend so much time so much time looking for resources when you need to get a lot of resources, which a lot of times you do. Uh, the resource grind in this game can be pretty intensive early on, but once you get past a certain point, you're running quarries, you don't have to spend all that time grinding for materials, you're instead spending that time playing with the mods. You're, you're spending that time doing cool things instead of wasting it, uh, you know, just kind of doing whatever, going into caves or sitting at AFK at a mob grinder. Um, the alternative is you're getting the resources a lot quicker and you're able to access all the cool items in here faster. A little bit faster, a little less tedious. And that's another thing with Minecraft. To me, vanilla Minecraft has gotten to the point where it's now tedious. It's to the point where I don't want to go caving ever because it's so boring. And I just think to myself, you know, I wish there was a way I could expend some, you know, have a tech tree that lets me get away from the tedious aspects of the game. And that's what Feed the Beast has. It's got all these tech trees and stuff. I'm able to do all that caving in a roundabout way, you know, after hours of play. I mean, again, like, it's not, you know, overpowered, I would say. It's very, very good, but I think it's it's worthwhile in the end. It, well, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not overpowered. It's good. It's worthwhile, but it's not going to be cheap either. Uh, and you're not going to be able to just turn around and be like, oh, hey, there we go. You know, this is what we're using to power our quarries, and these are all steam boilers. And... And this is crazy. This took a lot of resources to get set up. This took a lot of tech to get set up. And you know, even getting the first quarry took me, I would say, about like 10 hours of gameplay. And even then, we weren't running it at full power. And you know, so many other little aspects here and there that were you know, causing problems. Liquid DNA. That's kind of cool looking. So... Again, like here, the thesis of this is, I think that Minecraft, or I think that Feed the Beast is the sequel to Minecraft because it does take away that tediousness. It takes away the non-functionality of things and introduces a bunch of more functionality. So, you know, with Implied Energistics, I have all of my materials stored in a data screen, and if I need something, I can craft all of these automatically. Even if they have subcomponents that need to be processed, you know, pass through a furnace, for instance, it will do that for me. It'll craft the sub, the subcomponents of these materials. Like to craft iron bars, it takes six iron. It'll take iron ore, turn it into iron dust, and then turn that iron dust into iron, and then craft it into iron bars. And that's something I had to set up, but once it's done, it's worth it. You know, these are all different recipes. I, I've shown these off before, I believe. Um, in my other Let's Play. And that kind of brings me to my next point. Uh, I do not want to give up Vanilla Minecraft because I think there's a nostalgia aspect to it. And that's the main reason I play it, considering that it is almost going to be a three-year-old game this year. We're actually, I mean, well, it's May. So we get June, July, August, September, and October. That'll be three years for me. So when that time comes... This game is really looking at sort of like the nostalgia aspect of it. Sure, it's not as old as other games I used to play, Halo, whatnot. But it's kind of getting to the point where the evolution of the game is not getting in line with what the mod creators are doing. The mod creators are going so far and above what Feed the Beast or what Minecraft should be by now. And they're saying, hey, you know, this is this is what we can do with the time that we have. So let me bring it up. Let me bring this back to my channel. What I intend to do here is begin again a Feed the Beast Let's Play. It'll be in the Ultimate Pack. It'll be in the 1.4.7 version. I believe it'll be 1.0.2. This is in 1.0.1. 1. 
because they're testing the final version and it'll be out in a couple of days and then they're not going to update it again for a recommended build until I believe 1.6 my actual like vanilla Minecraft 1.6 they will have a 1.5 version out but I'm not going to be playing that one because it's it's kind of a temporary one it's not going to be uh, an official pack so I'll skip that and I'll just wait for the 1.6 version but I do want to get back into this I'm going to be playing a mixture of the single player world and a little bit of the server I think I'll just kind of jump between the two kind of like how direwolf does and I'll have I'll, I'll have set up let's plays now, this will be kind of the higher tier stuff where I make some cool end gamey things and the other one will be by myself kind of let's playing through the entire tech tree and discussing as as I go along but I think it'll be kind of cool to bounce between them just kind of like direwolf does I'll have this here to show what the end result is going to be what I'm going for so people have an idea of what I'm doing and the other you know the other uh, aspect of it being me actually starting off a world and and explaining that as well as I go along because there's a lot to swallow there's a lot of information here but it's just like when you started off playing Minecraft you had to spend a lot of time on the wiki yet, or you had to talk to someone to teach you what was going on and that's kind of the same case here you, know, you have to spend a lot of time uh, talking to people and figuring out or going on the wiki but I, I mean I pretty much play this with the wiki open all the time because there's so many things in here you just look through 28 pages of items of blocks that's a lot of stuff but yeah that's my I think that's all I wanted to say basically feed the beast in my opinion is is the next step for minecrafters who are looking for something new it's a little end gamey at the end if you don't have Greg Tech with its hard recipes installed on pretty much everything, it will feel a little end gamey. Like right now, I mean, you can see how fast I'm, I'm going. Uh, this is using the modular power suits. This stuff is pretty expensive, like the power armor legs, if you have Greg Tech recipes enabled, but otherwise they're pretty cheap and they give you a lot of bang for your buck, maybe too much. See parcel joint. Uh, so as a channel update, I will be starting, I will be rebuilding my Let's Play. For Feed the Beast soon, and you know, I'm going to continue. Clearly, continue to do Adventure Time Craft and Infernal Mines. Divine RPG. I think I might just not do that anymore. It's a little tough to record those, uh, but we might get back into it. I'll, I'll I'll talk about that another time if it becomes relevant again. I know someone asked about that on my channel, um, so I think that's about it. Let me know what you guys think about you know, starting up. Feed the Beast again. How many of you guys actually play Feed the Beast or are interested in seeing it again? I know some people some people like it, some people don't. Uh, but I think it's I think it's pretty fun. I've spent so much time on the server. I kind of feel guilty for not recording any of it because I've spent way more time on here in the last couple of weeks than I have in my Adventure Time world. And there is stuff I, I need to do. I need to spend time in that world uh, to get things accomplished. But yeah, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time then.